I'm John Berman, live in Orlando this morning. We have breaking news happening not far from here at Walt Disney World. A two-year-old boy was attacked by an alligator, dragged into the water. The parents tried to stop this all from happening, but to no avail, and that child is still missing. They've been searching for hours at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort right now. You can see these pictures of the search, which is so difficult in the dark in these overnight hours. Seen as Martin Savage joins us now live with the latest. Martin. John, the crews have been working all night long. The sheriff says that at one point he had as many as 50 different officers that were either on the water or on the water's edge. On top of that, they've been using all kinds of technology from helicopters, using those sun gun bright lights to try to illuminate the search scene. They've also had firefighters on the water's edge using infrared cameras. They're using sonar to try to search below the water. They do have a dive team standing by. Whether that team has gone into the water, it's still a potentially dangerous situation. They've also brought in an alligator trapper. Anything that can be done is being done as they try to recover this two-year-old child. But uh, you have to say that after so much time and the way that this child was taken by the alligator, according to witnesses, snatched off of the shore, even though the child was only standing in maybe a few inches of water, the prognosis is not looking good. The sheriff has said in his 35 years, never has he seen anything like that in this kind of a place. And the longer it goes on, the more dim the hopes are. We expect to get an update in just a short while, and daylight will do a lot to help this recovery effort move forward. John. It'll be light in just a few minutes, Martin. They'll be able to get that search underway with even greater force. Martin Savage for us, not far from Disney World, where that search goes on this morning. Thanks, Martin.